Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome back to the universe of Starbase. In this video, we're going to take a tour of all of the shipyards, or the, the sales areas where they're selling ships. Now, not all the ships are for sale just yet, and I reckon these areas are going to be overhauled in the future by the Starbase team. More ships added, some ships taken away, and some, some ships also priced up as well. By the end of this video, I want to kind of give you an idea of some of the better ships to buy when starting out and at the same time just kind of give you a wide coverage of all the things that they have on offer there. Now if you're new to Starbase, when buying a ship there is two things we want to look at. We want to have a look at the price, we want to have a look at the ore that it requires. The less ore probably means the less trips to some of the dangerous area or the less chance of us having to buy some of the ore on the market. So there's some things to consider. Anyway, let's start by looking at the Marmots, the, the ship that most people have decided to buy first. Some of them do. See, this one does speed empty. Skill level, advanced starter. Okay, okay, I'm understanding this a little bit more. Let's have a look over this one. So this one has 50 crates, so a few more crates, but it has a lower meters a second, if I'm correct. Uh, 113, what's this one? 106, okay. So no, no, I'll pass on that one. Let's have a quick look at it, though. It's got a cool cockpit, though. I'll give them that. And it's got the cars. Yes, they, 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 every sort of like ship in this, this sunny shipyard is more for the, the next ship up, which you want to... Okay, okay. So this one has has a cargo capacity of 22, um, a speed of 73 meters a second. So I can see why people are picking that end one at the moment, mm. uh, for capacity and speed. And and also price, I think. What's that? Uh, let's have a quick comparison. Yeah, so it's one it's one of the more expensive ones, but it's not that much more expensive. It's one, it's what, well, it's, it's one more than that. And that, yeah, okay, so I can see, yeah, I won't go for that one. So far, I'm sold on the one that everyone else has gone for. Uh, let's have a quick flick through this hangar while they load in. Let's see if there's any real purpose. For you, can, you can amount, you can amount uh, another 20 crates onto it. It's part of one set of mounts, various equipment up to no, four additional. So you can put extra, front. I mean, some of them are boxed, but you can modify them when you get them. Okay, yeah, but this this one would, I reckon, still be as slow as the starter ship, because it's only got two mm. engines, hasn't it? Oh, no, no, the starter ship is... is oh, re really bad, is it? Uh, configure, this basic configuration has eight crates, 120 metres a second, top speed empty. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sold on the other one for the minute. Let's have a look at this one. It has 12 crates, can be upgraded to 60, but I reckon with 60 crates and the you know the, the current the current speed empty is 105, you're going to drop way low with that. Yeah, I mean you you'd whack and have a couple of thrusters or sank on it as well and. Hmm. Yeah, you'd you'd have to progressively upgrade it. Let's have a yeah. look at the price though. 157. So I'm guessing that's why the price is a lot lower because you would you would be working and learning with that ship. Yeah, that's the thing you. Up with it, and you think oh, I can add that to it. I can add that to it. Right. So this is 40 crates, and that speed. So still not better. And the price is reflecting it, I guess. Let's have a look at this one. This one's got quite a nice exterior. Uh, 40. This one's 48 crates. What's the price? Oh, gee. Oof. Yeah. Oof, why is it so expensive? 48 crates. Uh, it's, it's got the. It's because it, it can be uh, there's extra fuel rods in the yard can be upgraded with three large tanks so it's, it, i think this one's got more upgrade options that you could without actually ripping it apart you can actually fit stuff in mm -hmm. let's have a look at this one so this is uh, this one is skill level starter 179 and this one has 22 crates 92 so it's this one there no, no thank you oh hold on let's have a look laborer two yeah so, so and the laborer is so which one's this one? The hauler. Yeah, I don't. Oh, yeah, I don't no, 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 no. The, oh, go on. We come around this way. This is where the the original. I think the labourer. There's two starter ships that you can actually get here. Oh, hold on. This one says labourer. This one, labourer yeah, civilian ship. So I'm guessing that this might have been the original. Civvy ship. 
You see, it looks way better than the one that they give you at the moment. Yeah, I, yeah, I, like, I don't understand why they just threw that one together at the last minute, but the only way I can think is that it was, you know, just to make the easy builder work better. Yeah, Martyr 2. So these are, these are smaller ships, and they are cheaper, but... What's the speed like? Oh, I've not got no information on this one, Labour Room. Yeah, these are the, obviously the ships we got at the moment. Okay, Virgo Tier 1. Yeah, so so the best one so far is exactly what you said. Have you seen this one, this cat box? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did see that. I did see that. With the cat, little cat it's like ears. Well, it, is, it is well cheap, though. It's, it's, you could use it as a little shuttle around the station. Yeah, for what for fifty eight and oh and the reason oh yeah I've got everything out I, I think already to buy it so that's not bad. Yeah. Same with this one as well. Let's have a look what we've got in stock. So we've got some ships that are similar. Do you reckon some of the same ships will be in here? Yeah. So this these are the this is the Laborer two, and this is the Laborer the ones we saw at the other place, aka the original starter ship that looks far better than the one they've got. Oh, this is a big one, isn't it? Yeah, I, I do like this ship. Let's. I mean. Have a look at it. I, I can't see. I can't really see. Oh, there we go. We've got it now. So I'll have a quick glance around at it, and then we'll talk over the the stats of the thing. It's got a lot of thrust on it. Oh, it's got cargo capacity to transport people. That's a bit mad, isn't it? A lot of thrust. And where's where's the entrance to it? Uh, up here. There's a. Yeah, oh, this in. one. There's a button here or somewhere for the the door to open. Ooh. Fancy, eh? <laughs> oh, the, it's got all the system it. layouts with batteries, lights. Oh, yes. Yes, please. That's cool. We've got a cooling system. We have a fuel chamber. What's this? I, I, I'm, I'm always worried about pressing buttons in case something breaks. It's very bright, no, you, though, when you put the lights on, isn't it? Yeah, you can't break anything in these ships. Oh, oh and then you've got a ramp down here. Let me turn that. Let's, let's access that door. Yeah, I'm like it. I'm, I'm, I like that. I, I just want. I would like to learn though how to wire all this stuff up because I can see the wiring, and I can see port plugs and stuff. And you've got the engines back here. You got cargo. Very, yeah, that's a very nice ship. I bet it's yeah, basically going to be yeah. expensive. Let's yeah. have a look, let's have a look at the price now. We've seen. Oh, it's it's it's, yeah. it's not that expensive. It's the, some of the resources that it needs to. So yeah, because some, yeah. uh, some of these resources they don't spawn in the initial area. No, I'm you seeing, have to go. Okay. Yeah, you have to go. Yeah, you have to go. Out, out. This is a much bigger hangar, and that, oh, this is a cool one. This one's got like a underbelly bit. One five two. Hang on, this is that's not that expensive, is it? No, but this I think this is one. N uh, Nilius cargo, a cargo ship that is equipped with a tractor beam. Fi what? What's a tractor beam do? It drags the rocks in. Oh, so, what, into this, like, area underneath? Yeah, into the area underneath. I mean, you can probably go in there and switch this stuff on. Oh, okay, let's have a, let's have a nosy then. Uh, doors. Yeah, for some reason, the model's not loading in for me. All right, let's have a look. I like how you can interact with this. It's not just a dead model, and you so you can understand... No, yeah, you can, you can interact with them all. Just doing a quick reload. Generator... Yeah, I guess this might even help you understand how the systems work to a degree. Let's turn our super. God, you can't see what you can't see out the cockpit when you turn them lights on. No, I, I noticed that in a few of them, the lights are. Uh, let's have a look. So this is. Oh, very, cool. very. Oh, generator hatch. That's fun, isn't it? That's cool. I uh, mean, you, the building on it is really good. I must admit, the building on this. Once I you like get these into it, hatches. Understand it. Uh, and then you've got a light for this rear area. Got position beam. Okay, so what have I done? Something. Oh, okay, okay. So okay, so that's the beam. Okay, interesting, interesting. And then I guess once it's in position, so you could is your whole is your hard a yeah, big you, asteroid in then with this? Yeah, you you'd, you'd hold an asteroid and then drill it. Oh, so why it's underneath? Okay, so yes. then you lock the cargo area. So does this yeah. create this box so anything in here is stuck in place? Stuck in place, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's how it works, yeah. Interesting. Uh, it'd be nice to get to this stage. We'll have to see we'll see how we do. Um, see, it's not that cheap, this ship. Would you, would you, I mean, it's not that bad on price. Would you think it'd be worth having to go trying to get this, then? 
SDO that you need. Let's have a quick look. Some of these ores, you'd probably just have to buy them. Ex Exorium. Yeah, yeah. Exorium's easy to get. It's the 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 Carnite crystal and the Catonium ore. Okay. I'm just wondering how much better this would be, because if all it's doing is holding them in place. I think a lot of these ones are similar along here to a minimalist shuttle, best suited for short distance travel. Um, has a seat for the pilot and can reach a top speed of 90, 89. Okay. That's quite basic. Okay, what's this one? Is this is this like the other one, but with more space? Yeah, yeah, more more space and. Come on, loading, loading. It was nice that the first two loaded in, but the the other two didn't want to. This little one's loaded in. What's this? Pioneer. The Pioneer is an unarmed vessel spaceship equipped with a radio transmitter and a large set of programmed YOLO chips with auto-piloting configuration, making this ship well-suited for patrol duties. Still not loaded, this one over there. No, no, there's some, a bit of it. This, this next one's loaded here, though. Hang on, this is the one we saw in the trailers, isn't it? If it, do you remember the trailers where they shove all the ore in here, I think? Uh... Yeah, they shove, they shove all the ore in here, Lake House, doesn't it? And it, oh, right. and it, it gets stuck, so if you go in there a second... What happens to you if I hit that button? Nothing. I think the oh, it the just buttons, so, it's, oh. It's just to you. So. so it can only activate. So you can't steal people with it, I guess. Then. Well, you probably could if you own the ship. It might be a bit different. Okay, so that's a pass. Obviously, because obviously I can't even see the beams activating when you're pressing the oh, button. Oh, can't you? Okay, so that's yeah. all. That's all that stuff. Have a go. At the, press the buttons yourself and have a look. So this is a door. Yeah, I think it's one way. It's just. Unloaded. And that's a little hatch for them. That's cool. Let's have a look around inside. So we've got the reactors down at the back. I don't know all the components yet. We've got the lights. We've got the other cargo door. We've got various different computers inside here. I'm guessing these are the uh, ones that I configured for the mining. Yeah, the yo-yo, the yo-yo chips. Are, that's that's what does all the scripting for a lot of the stuff. I like the look of this ship. I do like the look of this. Yeah, it's one. like it's got mouth or something on it. It's like yeah. it's, it's like a it's like a hot rod of ships from my my view. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look around the back. Yeah, it's just a hot rod. We've got a lot of power, I guess. Is this one going to be fast? Let's have a look at the speed of it. So this one is now only ninety five meters. Say, I guess it's heavy though. Yeah. What's what is this little one at the end? This is a poor little hauler. And then we've got two more over this side. If they decide to load the carrier. So this one's got oh this is this is a this is quite a smart design isn't it look they've put the they put the seats on oh wow <laughs> that's funny isn't it? so you could move the ship into position and you can rotate your chair upside down which one which button was that again Very cool. So the tractor beam, I think, rotates with the chair too. So you could you pick something up from outside there, then you can roll it inside. I think that's the idea. I know some of these designs on these ships, you can literally do everything you want. Yeah. So you yeah you pick it up, you tractor beam it in, and move it to the area for you to mess with. Very. Cool. That's very fun. Like the lasers, and that require. A bit more advanced doors. Okay, okay. So yeah, so we, I, I'm 100% in the going for the one you recommended at the minute, just just to get us to that next level. The Kodiak is civilian transport. Uh, nothing too special about this one. The cockpit's not too bad though. I do like this sort of enclosed area. Let's have a look at the transport capacity of this thing. Has it got a, a ramp or anything or a door? Something that I may be missing. Oh, it's got like a cockpit on top as well. That's fun. They're not loaded for you. No, no, so, I, I seem to run away and it's all the other ones have loaded in there. Just... We've got another little one there. But yeah, I think we've seen most of the ships. We've got, star, what, Star Salt? 
I think that's going to be like when the shops actually start coming into the game. There are like different shops that you're going to be able to. Oh, so you, I could actually buy some fuel rods by looking. Yeah, at it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the by, it'd be cool coming to these shops and buying the fuel rods and the parts just by you know clicking on the part. Yeah, yeah I that. think that's that's going to be in the future sort of thing. Because there seems to be shops everywhere. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it would be nice if, if it, I wonder. I wonder how it's going to work. I wonder if the the shops' economies are going to fluctuate too, so that you you know you you, can, you always have to keep checking prices, you know, to see who's got the better price yeah. and things. But the the same issue with that though is if if that's admin controlled, then the, how what will the player economy be like? Because it'll have to. Oh, to be honest, it'll be better then, won't it? Because it means that yeah. players can't inflate the price because the the main control from the stores is never going to let them do it. So I'd like to thank you for joining us on this first part of this tour of the shops. We've covered the two sort of starting area type ships. There's a lot of more beginner ships at a lower price in here. Some of them are still requiring some tough ores. In the next part, we're going to continue to the other shops and see what they have on offer. So to wrap this one up, drop in the comment section below and maybe offer a little bit of advice for some of them players who are looking to buy their first ship, but really ain't too sure what to look out for.